The U.S. Army is currently engaged in a substantial modernization effort to align itself with the changing dynamics of warfare. The emphasis is on preparing for extensive conventional conflicts against formidable opponents such as China and Russia, signaling a departure from the focus on counterinsurgency operations observed over the past two decades. The modernization process seems to have been hastened by the war in Ukraine. The war is also undoubtedly impacting the way the programs are being shaped, since many learning from it are being incorporated. In 2023, the Army introduced 24 new systems, and similar advancements are anticipated in 2024. These endeavors underscore the Army's dedication to maintaining a competitive edge in the swiftly evolving battlefield environment. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes what are the three key new vehicles the U.S. Army will be getting. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The M2 Bradley is demonstrating exceptional utility in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, highlighting the significance of infantry fighting vehicles in contemporary warfare. But the Bradley, which has been in service for more than 40 years, will have to be replaced as it will be vulnerable in future conflicts. XM-30 mechanized infantry fighting vehicle will be taking its place. Assistant Secretary of the Army for Acquisition, Logistics and Technology, Douglas R. Bush, said in June, the XM-30 will replace the Bradley fighting vehicle, bringing new transformational capabilities to the fight. These will include improvements to lethality, soldier vehicle survivability, and upgradability beyond the physical and economic limits of the Bradley. Concerning armaments, the XM-30 is expected to feature a primary gun, a light machine gun, and anti-tank missiles. The Army has requested prototypes with a 50mm main gun mounted on a remote turret along with anti-tank missiles. Essential specifications include a crew of two and accommodation for six fully equipped infantrymen. The XM-30 will adopt a modular design, enabling the Army to integrate emerging technologies as they become accessible. Bush added, the modular open system architecture of the XM-30 will allow new building technology to be added to the vehicle as that technology matures, ensuring an overwhelming advantage in any potential adversary competition. In the previous year, the U.S. Army selected American Rheinmetall vehicles and General Dynamics land systems as the finalists from a pool of five contenders. These two companies have been awarded a $1.6 billion contract to deliver their prototypes by the conclusion of 2024. In terms of operational deployment, the U.S. Army wants to have something before the end of the decade. The robotic combat vehicle is set to be an unmanned ground system, providing both fire support and reconnaissance capabilities. It features a modular and lightweight design. The U.S. Army said last year, the RCV light will deliver increased situational awareness, lethality, and tactical options for Army formations in support of multi-domain operations. Its operators will remotely control RCVs or task them to operate semi-autonomously. Variants will serve as scouts or escorts for manned fighting vehicles. The development of the robotic combat vehicle is ongoing. In September 2023, the Army granted contracts to four companies for the design of a prototype by August 2024. The goal is to achieve operational capability before the decade concludes. Apart from its combat systems, the robotic combat vehicle will need robust electronic warfare capabilities to ensure effective operation in a permissive electronic warfare environment. 
The U.S. Army selected McQ Textron Systems, General Dynamics Land Systems, and Oshkosh Defense to build robotic combat vehicle prototypes for a total amount of almost $25 million. The companies have until August 2024 to build the prototypes and deliver them to the Army for testing and evaluations. The M10 Booker is an armored fighting vehicle under development by General Dynamics Land Systems GDLS, for the United States Army. Developed from the GDLS Griffin II armored fighting vehicle as the winner of its Mobile Protected Firepower MRF program in June 2022. The initial contract is for 96 low-rate initial production or LRIP vehicles. The first vehicles were delivered to the Army in November to undergo testing for planned fielding to the force in 2024. The first unit equipped FUE with the M10 is planned for 2025. The design of the M10 Booker is conventional with the driver and engine at the front and the turret located at the rear of the hull. The turret accommodates a crew of three, including a commander, gunner, and loader. The turret architecture is based on the M1 Abrams tank using the M1A2 SEP V3 fire control system and CITV, or Commander's Independent Thermal Viewer. With a maximum speed of 60 km per hour, or 40 miles per hour, and a range of 305 km, or 190 miles, it can operate for 24 hours off the ramp or upon reaching the drop zone. The vehicle is designed to navigate diverse terrains, including steep hills, valleys, cities, and rivers. The main armament of the M10 Booker MPF consists of one 105mm cannon based on the American M35 and a 7.62mm machine gun mounted coaxially. The 105mm cannon, which is loaded manually, can fire APDS or Armor Piercing Discarding Sabot and HE high explosive rounds with a maximum firing range of 1.8 kilometers or 1.1 miles for APDS and 4 kilometers or 2.5 miles for HE. The APDS is a type of spin stabilized kinetic energy projectile for anti armor warfare. One 12.7 millimeter heavy turret gun is mounted on the commander hatch. Two banks of four smoke grenade launchers are mounted on each side at the front of the turret. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.